Well, it looks like that first bulb that's in series with everything else is much brighter. And then the one in the middle, or the one that's on its own parallel path, is pretty bright, or well, me medium brightness. And then these three, it's really hard to see probably through the camera. They're all on, but they're very, very, very dim. And so we're getting three very different brightnesses. Very bright, medium brightness, and so dim that they almost appear to be off. So why is that? Well, this is what makes combination circuits interesting. And so if you think about the flow of charges, which we call electrical current, there's 100% of the current from the battery is flowing through this first bulb. It has to, there's no way to get around this bulb. So if this bulb is getting 100% of the current, that means it's going to be extremely bright, as you saw. But then what happens? The current reaches this node and splits. So some of the current is gonna go this way, and the rest of the current is gonna go out through these three bulbs. And so that means both paths are receiving less than 100% of the current. So there's no way these bulbs could ever be as bright as the first bulb. But what do we see on this left path here? Or I guess from your point of view, the right path. Well, this has only got one bulb on it, so there's not that much resistance on that path, which means there's a pretty good amount of current that's gonna come this way, and that's why this bulb was relatively bright. Now, what's out here? We have three light bulbs in series. And remember, if there's more than one bulb in series, there's gonna be more resistance, which means the more resistance you have, the less of the current is gonna to wanna to flow this way. So when it splits, it's not a 50-50 split. More current goes down the path with one bulb, which makes it brighter, and less of the current wants to go down the path with three bulbs because there's just too much resistance there, and that's what makes them so incredibly dim.